Scientific notation is a way of expressing very large numbers. We need it because some numbers are so big they don't even fit into the screen on our calculator. And because it takes an awful long time to write some numbers down on paper, we need a more efficient way of expressing these numbers. The rules of scientific notation are that the first number cannot be a zero, and that there is only one digit to the left of the decimal. Therefore, scientific notation numbers will always have a form like this. One digit followed by the decimal, followed by several more digits, and then you multiply by 10 to the power of another number. Multiplying by 10 to the power of a number means you're multiplying by 1,000th, or by 100, or by a million, a power of 10. In example one, we're going to convert this number to scientific notation. We have to know where the decimal is with this number. And of course, it'll be here at the end. So I can write a decimal zero to show that. We have to move that decimal over here so that there is only one non-zero digit to the left of the new position of the decimal. This means we're moving our decimal seven spaces to the left. So I'll write that here. The decimal moves seven spaces to the left. Our new number in scientific notation is 3.2487139 times 10 to the power of 7. The number of spaces you move to the left becomes the exponent of 10 in the scientific notation version of the number. Let's try this again with example 2. Example 2 already has a decimal showing. I need to move that decimal so that there is only one non-zero digit to the left of it. So I am moving that decimal here. That means I've moved it four spaces to the left. The decimal moves four spaces to the left. My new number will be 5.8 point eight six six three two one times ten to the power of four. The general rule in scientific notation is if you are moving your decimal to the left, the exponent of ten becomes more positive. In example three, we have a very small number instead of a very large number. We have to do the same thing. We have to move the decimal so that there's only one non-zero digit to the left of the decimal. That means I'm moving it one, two, three, four spaces to the right. So here I write decimal moves four spaces to the right. My new number becomes three point one zero two times ten to the negative four. Because I moved four spaces, this digit in the exponent of ten is a four. In example four, I'm doing the same thing, working with a very small number. I have to move my decimal one, two, three, four, five, six spaces to the right. My number becomes 4.43 4 times 10 to the negative 6. Because I move 6 spaces to the right, the exponent of 10 is negative 6. The rule, therefore, is when moving the decimal to the right, the exponent of 10 becomes more negative. These examples should help you convert any number, whether very large or very small, into scientific notation.